Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, JJ Lane's World. And today we're going to talk about my DNA Ancestry.com results. So I did this about actually a while now, a couple of years ago. And so I've never shared it on my channel before. So I'm actually going to go through my results and break it down. Um, what are all the different uh, ethnicities and um, um, regions of the world that make up um, me? And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and to put on your notification bell. I post about every month or so. Um, so, you know, check in back um, in a month and I'll probably have a new video up for you to view. The way the DNA testing works is that you provide a, a saliva sample to the DNA ancestry.com um, kit and you mail that back over to the labs and then they run a, a test to see where your DNA comes from in terms of who it matches up to in in Europe, in Africa, Asia, and North and South America. So they do a scan all over the world to see where do you where does your DNA match up with, and it gives you a breakdown by continent. Um, how many what percentage of your DNA is from that area of the world? So it's pretty cool. So fifty five percent of my DNA comes from Africa, which um, makes a lot of sense because most people in the Caribbean are descendants of West African slaves. So of that 55%, 21% comes from Nigeria. So shout out to all my Nigerian friends. So, you know, I um, that's why probably I like jollof rice. Um, so 21% of the 55% that is African comes from Nigeria. 13% comes from the Cameroon. 7% comes from Benin or um, Togo. So again, these are all countries that um, the had West African slaves um, taken from them, as the had slaves taken from them and brought to, you know, to North America and to the Caribbean to work um, on plantations. And then 7% also comes from Mali. It's kind of interesting. 4% comes from the Ivory Coast. And then 3% also comes from Senegal. So that's pretty interesting as well. So as you can see here, that's the makeup of the 55% the African DNA that I have. And then 24% is Native American DNA. So um, of that, all of it is Mayan Native American. So Belize, before the European colonizers came, um, Belize was, um, um, populated by M Mayan Native Americans. So if you go to Belize today, you'll see a lot of Mayan um, temples and pyramids throughout the country from when those peoples um, were, um, the ancient Maya were a part of Belize. Now, granted, there are still millions of Mayan people who are descendants of those ancient Mayas that are still living um, in Belize, Central America, Honduras, Guatemala. Um, and um, a lot of people in Belize have that heritage because there's a lot of a mixture between the various peoples that are there. So it's not surprising that 24% of my DNA is Mayan um, Native American. And then lastly, 21% um, of my um, DNA is from Europe, which again is not surprising because um, as we all know, the European colonizers went to West Africa, brought slaves from West Africa, and brought them to the Caribbean and to North America. And as you know, as many people know in history, the um, the slave masters, the Europeans, um, also um, had children with the African slaves. So that's a lot of people in Belize. Actually, um, they're called Creole people. Um, so we are a mixture of African slaves and white Europeans. That's generally what you find along the coast in um, in Belize. But obviously, there's a lot of mixture because there's a lot of Native, Amer um, Native American through the Mayans, and then obviously um, there's other ways of migration that came into the country. So you find a lot of different mixtures in Belize as well. But again, it's not surprising that I would have 21% European. So of that 21% European, let me see here. So 14% of that is from Scotland, which again is not surprising because as we all, everyone who knows Belizean history would know that um, the Baymen, who were Scottish people, came to Belize um, to start the mahogany um, 
um, um, camps or the slave camps where they brought West African slaves to work the mahogany um, um, lumber camps. So that was the big export from Belize during that time. So it's not surprising that I would have 14% um, Scottish um, DNA, 4% Welsh DNA, and 3% Spanish um, DNA from Spain. So all together that makes my 21% um, European DNA. So as you can see, I'm 55% West African, 24% Native American, probably why I have these cheekbones, and then um, 24% Native American, sorry, and then 21% European. And that makes me today. So if you have if you have an idea of, you know, probably if you have if especially if you're if you're um, from Latin America or from the Caribbean, I would definitely advise you to try out this um.com um, DNA test kit this is not a sponsored video it's just i think it's really cool it makes us learn more about our history our cultural history and it's interesting to kind of see where in the world our dna all comes from so yeah that's it guys so thanks for checking out my channel jj lemon's world and remember to um, subscribe and to put in your notification bell and remember to never stop exploring